So we've got this problem here just with a crate that's being pushed across the floor and we want to solve for the uh, push force or horizontal force so that it moves at constant speed or basically the acceleration is going to be zero. So we're going to say a sub x is zero meters per second squared. So we start with the force diagram here and I'm going to draw it as a single point uh, reduced in the middle of this graph and we've got the push force and then we have our frictional force kinetic friction then pushing off of the ground we've got our normal force and then we're always going to have our weight force or mg that's directed towards the center of the earth straight down so we always start our force problems by using newton's second law in both the x and the y direction and I'm just going to underline this here to remind you that these are really um, things we use to generate the equation. So Newton's second law is really powerful because we get to generate equations for this exact problem right on the spot. And that's what we're going to use this for. And it's asking, what are all the forces in the x? Well, we can define up and to the right as positive. And this is our x direction. This is our y direction. So positive x would be push force minus the friction kinetic. And then we ask ourselves, does it accelerate? We don't just put in ma. We have to figure out, does it have an acceleration? And in this case, it's zero because we want it to move at constant speed. So m times zero is still zero. We do the same thing in the y direction. We're going to have n as positive because it's pointing up minus w. And does it accelerate at all in the y direction? Well, that would be up or down. And this thing doesn't jump up or down. It's only moving sideways. So a y is zero. And then we were trying to solve for the push force here. So we're just going to rewrite this and try to solve for FP. And we just keep putting in things that we know. So we also know this standard equation of the coefficient of friction times the normal force. And we can say, all right, well, that's coefficient of friction is 0.29. And then I'm going to need to find n. So I've got to go over here and find this using my y equations. And of course, the weight force is mg. And we have the mass of 17 kilograms times positive 9.8. And this is really key here. Uh, we're going to use positive 9.8 because we already accounted for the negative sign, the direction of it pointing down when we did the sum of the forces. So you don't want to put another negative in here and get a double negative and get the signs wrong. We already accounted for the sign here. So we use positive G or the, the magnitude of G. So we're going to pull out our calculator here and just do 17 times 9.8. And so you get 166.6, and that is our normal force that we use over here now. And we do this final math here, and we're going to get 48.31. And of course, we can put in our units here now that we have the final answer. And we can put a box around this because we've got uh, the push force so that it moves at constant speed or the acceleration is zero in the x direction.